Well, as COVID cases continue to rise, local businesses stand to feel the most impact. 12 News' Anna Fair spoke with owners from two different restaurants about the precautions they're willing to take to stay afloat. Anna? Well, Byron, those I spoke to say some of those changes made during the height of the pandemic haven't changed. They say if things close again, they know how to handle it. When COVID first hit Mississippi, restaurants were forced to close their doors and rethink food service, all while trying to stay safe. Now that vaccines are available, many restaurant owners are encouraging their staff to get them. The entire kitchen staff is either fully vaccinated or waiting on their second dose. And then uh, we've urged all our waitresses and the majority of them have gotten their vaccinations as well. I'm fully vaccinated as well, too. Green Ghost Tacos is in the heart of Fondren, always drawing a crowd. Jonathan Torres says with cases climbing, they're considering reinforcing safety protocols. We're starting to enforce uh, everybody wear their mask. Uh, we'll probably put a sticker up on the windows again, telling people that masks are required just to be safe and cautious. If it gets really bad, we'll probably shut down some tables, you know, enforce social distancing. It's a small restaurant, so we do get really packed. Um, so we'll have to keep an eye on our capacity if it gets to that point. About 10 minutes north in Ridgeland, Kurlaki's owner Drew Creel says throughout the pandemic, Customers have stayed loyal. He believes if indoor dining closes again, they'd be just as faithful. The first couple weeks were a little bit slow when it happened last year. Then we did strictly just takeout, and our takeout was amazing. I mean, our, our customers were amazing. Uh, they supported us through the whole thing. I mean, we had cars lined up at the front of the parking lot, you know, every day, lunch, dinner, and people were very generous during that time. They tipped extra. Um, so we survived. We, we did better than survive. Creel says he's never enforced a mask mandate and says it's worked for him. He believes people should have the right to choose whether to wear one or not. Right now, there are no mask mandates in place, but both restaurants still offer various services like curbside pickups so customers can continue to feel safe. I'm Anna Farish. Byron, back to you.